All right, today I'm deviating from what I normally do product reviews on or discuss. Uh, this time around we're going to be talking about the Apple iPhone 5S, uh, some accessories that I bought for it and what my plans are for this phone. So I'm not going to try and do a product review of the 5S or anything like that. That's already been done by other people who are much more knowledgeable than myself. So uh, what I'm going to talk about are just a few issues, well not issues, I'm going to talk about a few features uh, which prompted me to actually buy this phone. So uh, the Apple 5S, A7 64-bit processor with iOS 7. The operating system designed to work with the 64-bit processor. It also has a coprocessor. The camera app in this phone um, takes advantage of the signal processor built into the A7 uh, and you get uh, uh, two times better autofocus, faster photo capture, and higher frame rates. Now Apple's philosophy with their camera um, in the iPhone is th this is a kind of a quote that they have on their website um, they say it makes more sense to teach the iPhone how to take great pictures rather than teach people how to be expert photographers I, I like that quote um, because I'm the exact type of person that they're talking about um, this review I'm, I'm using a Sony uh, RX100 uh, camera and although it's not you know it's not really a digital SLR it has a lot of SLR features so I've had to really educate myself on the nuances of lighting and aperture settings and shutter speeds and so on and so on um, which a lot of people love doing that sort of thing and photography is a hobby um, it's just not one of my hobbies. I came from the point-and-shoot crowd because the point-and-shoot cameras just weren't getting it done, hence why I upgraded. So um, I like Apple's philosophy for um, you know the camera. Uh, continuing with the specifications on the 5S uh, camera, um, the sensor is 15% larger, I believe, than the iPhone 5. Uh, which is approximately it's an 8 megapixel uh, camera. Now I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but you know really megapixel, where do you stop with it? You know 8, 10, 20, um, 8 is, is more than ample to print uh, a very large you know a, a photograph. So what did Apple do? Um, they actually increased the pixel size uh, to 1.5 microns. Uh, so a, a larger pixel is a, uh, provides a better picture. They've also um, changed the aperture. It, it now uh, goes down to uh, uh, an f-stop f of 2.2, uh, which is almost what this Sony is. Um, this Sony camera this RX100 has an aperture that goes as low as 1.8 and the lower the aperture setting is the more light it lets in so uh, this video I'm recording right he here is set at, uh, with an aperture of 1.8 uh, according to Apple um, there is a 33 percent uh, increase in light being allowed into the 5S versus the 5. 5S has the excellent continuous burst mode and the two-tone flash which is white and amber and uh, it's um, it uh, automatically adjusts the intensity and the temperature uh, to light your subject perfectly regardless if they're you know, indoors with no light or indoors with fluorescent light. It has, of course, auto image stabilization. Uh, it can do a slow mo video. Um, I believe it's 700, 720p at 120 
20 frames per second for slow-mo, if that's if I remember correctly. Uh, you can do live video zoom up to uh, a 3x zoom. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a um, uh, it's a digital zoom, um, which is, is isn't the best, but you know for for being in a phone, that's that's pretty good. Um, FaceTime uh, FaceTime has an HD camera, and of course the the standard camera is a 1080p uh, high definition. Um, these were some of the sell points for me on the 5s because uh, although I like the Sony. Um, the Sony is not convenient for to take with me to a lot of places. So, uh, having a camera that can do excellent photos as well as excellent HD video uh, on me all the time is is important. And I have been playing around with it a little bit. I haven't actually started using it for product reviews. But uh, what I wanted to cover was the phone a little bit. And um, so I, ha I happen to have a white one with the uh, silver. Um, I have a case on it. Um, this case um, has, um, it's not a, a, a super impact resistant case. It has cutouts on the, the top and the bottom. And those cutouts are important for some of the accessories that I'm going to be using. Uh, the case is a, um, a Spigen. This is the uh, box it comes in. It's a ultra thin Air A Spigen case. Something I picked up off of eBay. Um, this is a hard plastic case. It comes in. Um, I think I paid. $15, $16. I wanted a little bit of protection around the edges here and of course the back. And I wanted the uh, bottom area where the lightning link uh, cable plugs in. I wanted that uh, to stay open. And I'll explain that in a minute. So um, I'm not new to iPhone ownership or iPod ownership, so I have uh, a bunch of accessories for older generation iPhones and iPods. Uh, with the iPhone 5, um, you have the, the newer connector on the bottom, that small lightning link connector. To use my other accessories, I had to purchase a lightning to 30 pin adapter. Uh, now this is an, uh, an official Apple product that sells for about $30 and it looks like that. I picked this up off of eBay for about $10. So this allows me to use uh, my other my docks, my cigarette lighter, charger cords, and my other uh, USB cords. I don't have to go out and buy all new accessories. Um, this this item over here, um, this is a uh, um, tripod. Uh, this goes on a tripod and it's designed to hold uh, smartphones and it uh, works very well with the uh, iPhone, you know, the 4, the 5, the 5S. Uh, it'll work with other phones as well and I'll cover that in a minute. Some of my preliminary video testing um, that I've done, I didn't like the audio and that's mainly because the microphone for the HD camera uh, is on the front of the iPhone. So when I'm making videos and I'm talking to you, the camera is facing the opposite direction of my voice. So things sound kind of boomy or they sound hollow. And of course, I, I did a little review. Um, I did some reviews online of, of different microphone solutions. And, you know, there's plenty of external microphones you can pick up uh, that work great. I just didn't want to spend, you know, $100 on a microphone or $50, $75 on a microphone um, for making videos. And I didn't want a bulky item either. I wanted something small. So what I did was... Um, I expanded my reviews to include uh, previous generation microphones and I found the uh, Tascam 
IM2, uh, it, which is a stereo um, condenser microphone that uh, has a built-in preamp. Uh, I'll discuss it uh, in a minute. Uh, I won't. I won't be going into heavy-duty detail uh, about the Tascam IM2. There's plenty of videos on YouTube uh, where people do a, a very good uh, a job of reviewing it. Um, the IM2 is not designed for the 5 or the 5S. It was designed for the uh, iPhone 4S. So it has the old style 30 pin adapter on it. So if we take the Tascam IM2 and we couple it with this lightning to 30 pin adapter, it will now work on the 5S. And I've already verified this. So why go through all that hassle? Well, I'll explain that. The lightning link adapter I was buying these anyway because I've got a bunch of cables and, and, and such and docks and, and of course I have an interface in my car uh, so um, I need some of these lightning link adapters to utilize all my other accessories as well as plug this into the audio system in my car. This microphone, um, this Tascam, I picked this up for about $25 shipped off of eBay, brand new in the box. That was a reasonable price for this microphone, um, and since I was already going to have these adapters, it was uh, you know it was a no-brainer. Um, back in the day when these Tascams were being sold for the four iPhone 4 and the 4S, you know they were 75, 80, 90 dollars. So they've dropped down substantially now because you know supposedly they're not compatible with the new iPhone. But uh, with the addition of this lightning link adapter, you can make it work. So um, let's um, let's talk about the tripod mount. If you have a, a tripod for holding your camera, uh, normally your camera has a uh, female hole in the bottom, and uh, you screw a plate into it, the plate drops into your tripod and it holds your camera securely. That, uh, that type of setup doesn't really work with an iPhone, you need uh, an adapter like this. And I'm going to go ahead and, and put the, put the uh, iPhone in this and we'll see what it looks like. Alright, you can see how the uh, uh, iPhone 5s uh, sits in this um, um, adapter and you can see that there is the standard screw hole in the bottom so you can screw that into um, the top plate that uh, goes into your tripod. Um, what I have loaded here is I have a, a app, a uh, level app and um, you can get the different types of level apps off of um, the iTunes uh, App Store. The reason I have that on there is so when I'm setting up uh, a photo shoot or I'm doing a, a video, I can make sure that the camera is level and not tilted at an angle. So that's real convenient. Um, the um, This is a... Um, I don't know if there's a particular brand name for this type of tripod holder but I picked it up off of eBay for about four dollars it's uh, plastic and it has some uh, foam here here and here uh, to um, help uh, prevent scratches um, of course I have the case on here and, and the case you know um, wraps all the way around here so um, I don't have to worry about uh, my uh, iPhone uh, getting scratched up because of this case. Um, this top part is uh, spring-loaded. You can see right there it's e extended upwards and uh, there's spring tension so uh, it'll adjust to, to hold uh, if you had an iPhone 5S with a larger type case on it, it's expandable enough to uh, hold a phone with a larger case. And the phone's not going to fall out uh, um, with the amount of tension that's uh, um, 
this uh, holder puts on it. So that that's a, a nice addition for about uh, you know four or five dollars uh, that will allow you to uh, put your uh, iPhone mounted onto a tripod. So one of the other things I like about the the iPhone is if um, I go, um, let's say I'm going to do a video, and right there I'm doing a video. Uh, if, um, let's say for example, I wanted to do a, um, a video blog where I all of a sudden decided I wanted to uh, show my face talking on video, which you never know, it might happen. Uh, it has the ability to kick over and use the rear facing camera. Uh, this would allow you to do a video blog and look at the camera and make sure that you're looking at the camera or your face is in frame and and so on. So this gives me a little bit more flexibility than the Sony. Uh, the Sony doesn't have that because it doesn't have a, a, a rotatable uh, LCD display or, or anything of that nature. So this is this is a handy feature. Um, I've done some experimentations with it. Uh, it works great. Uh, whether or not I'll actually do a, a video type of blog um, I might, maybe I have a serious rant at some point in time and I might want to rant about it and actually show my face on video. So this is the holder for the iPhone and what I'm going to do is take out the uh, task cam and we'll take a look at that. Alright, here's the task cam I am too. Um, it ships obviously in this uh, retail type of box, um, which uh, the back of the box it um, talks about uh, the fact that it's a stereo uh, cartioid condenser microphone. It has up to 125 dB SPL input level capacity for recording loud sounds like live music or auto racing variable angle microphones rotate 180 degrees for recording flexibility it's lightweight it's 1.4 ounces it draws power from the iphone uh, or ipad or uh, ipod touch um, it has a onboard low noise digital converter connects digitally to the iphone or the ipad or the touch and it uh, they also provide a Tascam PCM recorder app, which is still in the iTunes store. I went into the iTunes store and did a search for Tascam and found it and downloaded it. Uh, it's primarily for recording audio. It does work on the iPhone 5S with iOS 7, and it does work with this device. And that's about all the important stuff that uh, the box says. It comes with a fold-out uh, information packet for warranty and uh, instructions in uh, a multitude of different languages. And of course the uh, actual IM2. Now you, these are available um, in black or white. I have a white one since I have a white iPhone. The uh, the way this works is depending upon where you're facing or where the sound is coming from you have these red lines right here so if I rotate this like so now the microphone is picking up sounds from this angle and if I rotate it this way then it would be picking up sounds from this direction um, the reason this is valuable to me is one it's a stereo microphone two I can rotate this so the microphones are facing my direction or, or they're facing this way and this is where I'm talking from. So um, some of the preliminary tests I did with this, when I'm talking 
and the microphones are in this direction, and of course I'm behind the camera, the sound is great. And as I slowly rotate this, my sound gets hollower and hollower and hollower, um, just like the factory uh, 5S microphone. So this is an, a great improvement if you're going to be doing uh, video product reviews or anything of that nature using the 5S and you want to get uh, better audio quality. This is a sensitivity um, wheel right here to adjust the sensitivity of the sound. Um, right now, away from the microphone, it's all the way up. And on this side, there is a limiter that uh, if you're in really loud environments, um, you can flip the limiter on and it will uh, limit the amount of volume coming into these microphones so it doesn't distort. Um, I would assume that would be for concerts or auto racing or something where there's a lot of loud sound present. Uh, with the switch away from the microphone, it's off and I probably will not be using that function. It also has a USB port that you can connect uh, to charge the phone while you're doing video or audio recording and this is plugged in so that's a nice feature. From what I can see of this uh, uh, at this point in time we have a uh, still TIAC logo right here it says made in China it's kind of uh, a, has a rubber finish to it nice white glossy finish uh, it's plastic obviously feels pretty good um, uh, my limited testing I've done at this point this works great um, I'm, I'm happy with this for $25 this is probably not the best microphone on the market but I have for $25 um, this fits the bill for my purposes so if we if we take it, you can see it plugs into the lightning link adapter. And if we take our iPhone, plug it in, and we get the blue light. So this more or less is how it looks with it plugged in. It is, does look kind of hokey, of course, and it's not going to be as stable. It would be ideal if this could be plug in directly into the phone, um, but for this type of device to use on a 5S, this is the only way you're going to make this work. So for me, with this on a tripod, and me, me, me making a, a product review video, this is not an issue, as uh, long as I don't whack this or uh, you know knock it off, it, it's definitely not going to be an issue. So this is how it works, and I'm going to actually do a test video. Um, I'm going to do a test video, and I'm going to give you an idea of, of what the audio quality sounds like. So I'm going to... Uh, swap out cameras and switch over to the iPhone and I'll merge the iPhone video in with the uh, Sony video and you can also tell the difference. You'll be able to kind of see the difference between the Sony RX100 video and the uh, iPhone 5S video at the same time. Alright, um, this section of the uh, video is uh, being recorded using the uh, built-in iPhone 5S photo video app. The Tascam microphone again is facing uh, the opposite direction of where I'm sitting from and talking. I'm going to rotate the microphone so the microphone is facing off to the side which is to the right of me so it should sound better but not really great. And as I rotate the microphone to the rear of the camera, directly facing me, you should hear a uh, noticeable improvement in the tonal quality of my voice and the uh, hollowness or the, the echoey type of sound should be gone at this point. 
So um, the zoom for this app works the same, obviously. I lost the FaceTime functionality here. The uh, FaceTime button was on the on the screen here, but it uh, disappeared. So I'll have to stop this video and uh, start it again, and uh, we'll just kick in the FaceTime. All right, I had to uh, stop and, and restart the video. I was uh, for some reason thinking that. Uh, I could, um, right in the middle of a, a product review, switch over to the FaceTime camera, but it uh, doesn't appear to work that way, or I'm not knowledgeable enough to um, know how to access that feature during a live video. So um, this is, uh, I'm still in the same position, camera's in the same place. I've just switched to the uh, rear-facing camera, and it's really not showing much. It's showing my t-shirt and uh, my racks of, of, of stuff that's behind me. The Tascam microphone is still facing me directly, um, so my voice should still be the same as it has been uh, in the other parts of the video. So um, that's pretty much going to, I'm going to wrap up this video. Uh, it was primarily to showcase that the Tascam IM2 is usable with the 5S, how to set up your 5S for use on a tripod, and a small comparison of the Sony RX100 video quality versus the Apple iPhone 5S video quality.